Hello, Slice Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you today. We have the brand new Civivi Riffle. Not rifle, riffle. Two Fs, R-I-F-F-L-E. Uh, really, really cool knife. I will say that a lot of you guys ask me, hey, are you getting this? Because Civivi, you know, they release a lot of knives. Let's just be honest. They have a lot of designs out there. When the new stuff was announced, people keep ask, kept asking me, you know, are you going to review the Riffle? And I was like, yeah, eventually, maybe. I wasn't really that super excited to get my hands on it. But now that I have, yeah, I get I get why all of you were asking. This thing is uh, it's pretty darn cool. This version is the brown micarta handle for $55.25. Very reasonably priced. 14C 28 on steel. If you guys have watched this channel, any of my budget knife reviews, it's probably my favorite budget steel. It takes a screaming awesome edge without a whole lot of effort. And man, you can get 14C28 and super, super sharp. It's going to hold it enough to keep you satisfied. You got to touch it up every now and then, but man, it takes such a good edge. It is a very, very thin blade stock as well. We'll get to that more when we get into the blade. Other than that, the usual Civivi fare you expect ceramic detent and bearings it, it's super super smooth very well made like i said this is the brown micarta for 55 25 you can also get a dark green micarta which looks almost more black for the same price or you can get like an olive micarta which i think kind of looks more tan i would say for that same price and if you want to spend a bit more you can get a wood with a damascus blade or a carbon fiber with a damascus blade for 89 25 uh those are super nice looking, I will say, especially that the sandalwood. It's like a dark reddish wood with that Damascus. Looks amazing. Uh, Civivi's Damascus is uh, mostly 9CR18 MOV, also a great steel. So uh, no no problems there with that. Uh, but yeah, aesthetically, I think it's a pretty good looking knife. I did think that when I first saw it, but I don't know. It's it's all belly. That's something I'm not usually into. So that, I think that's part of the reason why I wasn't so like blown away to get one. But once I had it in hand and actually used it, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of getting it. I'm picking up what they're putting down, as one would say. But uh, it is right hand, left hand carry. Uh, not a not a recessed clip. I'm realizing finally that uh, sometimes Civivi does that. Sometimes they don't. Oftentimes, it's if it is right hand, left hand, the clip is not recessed because then you'd have the dent in the other side and it, it doesn't look as good. Uh, but still, recessed screws. Mostly all T8 hardware. It's T6 on the screws, but for the the pocket clip, that's it. Uh, everything else is T8, which is uh, always very much appreciated. Usual little Civivi logo there. The only other marking on the blade is an extremely tiny 14C 28N marking, which I'm not even sure if I'm on the right side of the blade. Yep, there it is. It's barely you barely see it. It's not going to show up on the camera, but trust me, it's there. It's extremely tiny. So let's do some specs and size comparisons before we get uh, too much farther here. You have a blade length of three and a half inches, overall length of eight inches, so right in that usual kind of EDC, mid-size EDC size. You have a blade thickness of 0 0.12 inches, handle thickness of 0 0.48 inches, and a weight, according to my scales, of 3.42 ounces, which gets the golf clap, because that is exactly what they claim that it weighs. So good on Zvivi for actually getting the weight exactly perfect we're going to do quite a few size comparisons here because as like i said this is a new model do some usuals do a couple other budget ones and then some other civivis uh, both old and new so you can see so our usuals we will start out with the spider co paramilitary 2 we'll try and lamp pivots here and the spider co para 3 so you can see Kind of between those, but a little bit closer to the PM2 than it is to the Para 3. And then our usual Benchmades. And we'll do the full-size Bug Out. And the 940. And you can see again, a little bit longer than a 940. A little bit smaller than a bug out, but or a little bit larger than a bug out, a little bit smaller than 940, but kind of really close to both of them, honestly. And then bring out a couple, I think that you know, the budget knives by which all other budget knives are judged. These were in my recent, you know, um, uh, my recent video about you know, knives that kind of define their class. So this is the rat model two and the rat model one. 
So yeah, this is, it's almost more exactly halfway between these two. So a little bit smaller than a Model 1, a little bit larger than a Model 2, quite a bit larger than a Model 2 actually. And now we'll bring out some of its brethren, some other Civivis. We'll start out with some, uh, I guess classics, if you can call that with Civivis. They haven't, they haven't been out for that long, but man, they've made a lot of knives. So uh, we'll start out with one of the originals, the Backlash. Very, very, very similar in size to the Backlash and the Elementum. May, may be Civivi's most popular model, I would say, since they've come out. A uh, little bit bigger than the Elementum. Almost exactly the same size as Backlash. And now a couple of newer ones, uh, one of which you will be seeing a review of soon. Actually re already recorded it, but uh, I wanted to put this one out first. So I think in chronological order, uh, this one's going to be out first. But the Brazen and the Tanto version. And my 2020 budget knife of the year, this was the Ortis. So again, you can kind of see the size there. More brazen size, but not that far off of the of the Ortis and the, the, the random cat hair on here. Does not affect the size comparison at all. It just affects my ability to make sure my knives are clean before I put stuff out. And just, I wanted to show one more just because, you know, to show that not all Civivis are about the same size. Uh, this is one that I obtained for an upcoming video. I'm going to do my top five Civivis ranked you wanted to. And I didn't have one of these. I had to obtain it for that video. So spoiler alert, this one's going to be on there. Uh, the Shredder. This is one of the Damascus Blade uh, Shredders. So yeah, a little bit smaller than the Shredder. Shredder's a Shredder's a pretty big knife for a CV. Um, let's talk more about this knife, the blade. As I said, 14C28N, love it. So glad Civivi is, that's my favorite thing about Civivi in 2021. Everything was either D2 or 9CR18 MOV. I, I really like 9CR18. It's, it's a great steal. A lot of the stuff I said about the 14C28 is the same thing. It takes a really good edge. It holds it long enough and it's not D2. D2 is just, there's nothing wrong with D2, especially Civivi's D2 is pretty darn good. But man, I get a lot of D2 flipper knives in, so it's nice to see something different. And uh, this year for 2021, Civivi's branching out a lot. A lot of 14C28, a lot of the 9CR18 is coming back instead of the D2. Uh, they, I think they did a couple of N690 knives. Like, it's just cool to see some different stuff uh, come out here. I, I might be wrong about the N690, but I'm pretty sure I saw a few... Um, it's just cool to see them branch out some other stuff. And, uh, yeah, 14C28, glad to see it, especially like this. So it is 12 and a half thousandths behind the edge with, as I said, pl pretty thin blade stock, 0 0.12. So is it slicey? Yes. Yes, it is laser beam, lightsaber, razor blade, whatever adjective slash metaphor you want to apply to it. It is all of those things and more. Multiple places say hollow grind. If it's hollow grind, it's very, very slightly hollow grind. I wouldn't say it's dramatic, but it doesn't need to be any more than what it is. Because, uh, again, it, very high very high grind line and very, very, very thin behind the edge. Um, and the tip on it, not, not robust, but not super dainty either. No problem there. If I have one issue the blade, like I said, in my sort of daily use, I prefer to have a little bit of flat and not have it be pure 100% belly. But, you know, that's okay. And some people are going to complain because the giant opening hole, it weakens it. At, okay, it doesn't. And, you know, stuff's going to get caught in there. Yeah, that might happen. Uh, that's a, a legit concern, but it's not usually a, a, a big deal in any of my usual tasks. So I'm not too too freaked out about it. Uh, but yeah, nice looking blade definitely fits with everything. And man, this thing is slicey. You know, very, very happy to see that. Not that Civivi's gotten away from it, but this harkens back to even when they first came out, like the Backlash, you know, that, that was the big revelation for me with the Backlash was just how freaking slicey it was in the Praxis and all those original ones. So harkening back to that just a little bit, as far as the ergonomics go, um, just, the, I, I had to clap my hands twice, but this Oh, wow. It's really, really, really good. Um, you just have plenty of room. I have large size gloves, fairly skinny fingers, but man, I've got all the real estate in the world on this thing. Zero hot spots. The way this pocket clip is angled for my hands is, is perfect. Just perfect. 
The micarta they use, I really like the texture of the micarta they use. It's pretty unique because a lot of times you get either that's a little bit, for lack of a better term, I say fuzzy, you know, where it's really my micarta e, a little bit fuzzy. It feels a little bit rough. It's intended to, or it's like super shiny, like Riot, you know, does where it's uh, basically like a shellac sort of over top of it. This is kind of halfway between. It's still matte. It's still got a, a, a little bit of texture to it, but it's just a gorgeous and b it's just a, it's just the right amount of feel there it feels a bit more quality than some of the fuzzier stuff but it it isn't like super super slick like the really shellacky stuff so i really like the texture of it and god it's just awesome and the jimping up here on the top of the blade is perfect aggressive enough without being too crazy awesome ergonomics on this thing awesome uh, how does it carry in the pocket? Well, let's bring out Yule Levi's and see. I managed to put my keyboard on top of Yule Levi's, so i got to move that to the side. Here we go. Uh, pretty good. It slides in and out. Another great thing about that micarta. Slides in and out of the pocket really easily. Doesn't, you know, no danger of it tearing your, your pants up or anything, but the clip tension is enough to hold it down. Again, it is right hand or left hand. And flipper tab is honestly not not really noticeable if i stick my widow pinky over there and like try and touch it to see where's the flipper tab i can feel it but it's it's the jimping isn't crazy on it it's perfectly fine it's very short no problems with the carry at all weight 3.42 ounces for a three and a half inch blade it's a little bit below that you know imagine a line of the ounce per inch thing so uh, that works out pretty good action as as i almost always say it's a Civivi. It's great. And it is great. One little caveat with it, but not a huge deal at all. Flipper tab. Awesome. Exactly what you expect from a Civivi. Pretty drop shutty. As you can see, I gave it a little wiggle to get it going, but then it just falls down. Um, on the flipper tab, it is perfect. Uh, this large opening hole, spidey flick it, thumb flick it, it'll do it all day long. But you do have to be just a, just a bit deliberate with it. it. Not enough for me to call it a negative, but it's just not quite as snappy with the thumb or spidey flick deployment as it is with the with the flipper tab you don't have to get any wrist or anything you just got to be you just got to be pretty you can kind of you kind of could see it more with the spidey flick you just got to be a bit more deliberate with it uh than you do with the flipper tab but really honestly not enough to complain about um so yeah great great knife you guys bothered me about reviewing this first i honestly was more excited about the brazen it's Tanto, I like Tantos. Uh, but now that I have this, I get why you guys are bugging me about it. Um, super, super, super cool knife. Um, and 14C28N. I'm so glad to see it. CVV is not the only one. Other companies are using it again this year. I think it's one of the most underrated steels out there. I think, like, knife guys that know, know that it's amazing, but it's not one that you see, like, as a highlight reel anymore, you know, and uh, I'm glad to see so many more companies using it, and really glad to see Sabivi making, using it, because they make a lot of knives. More 14C28N in this price range. Uh, I'm all for it. 55 bucks. I don't see how you can go wrong with this. Uh, all belly. That's the only thing I could see that people wouldn't like about it. I know I'm probably in the minority with that, but I'd like to have a little bit of flat. But other than that, Wow. Great ergos. Looks great. This my card is really, really nice. I don't I don't know what else, I don't know what else to complain about. Just that I, I would have flattened that blade out a little bit. And uh that's about it. <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. Have a good one.